Hello. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Good afternoon. It is afternoon. It is. Yes. So we are headed to a place we've never camped at before. We're Look. going camping. Yay! We're going to Payne's Prairie State Park. And it is just south of Gainesville. Gainesville. Yes. So yeah. a few it's hours a, away. Yeah. Go ahead. It's a prairie. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was gonna make a joke how our last trip we were in a little house and now we're going to a prairie. <laughs> Sorry. I know. <laughs> so, um, this is the only place in Florida, at least, that I know of, I think that's what it says on their website, that has wild horses uh -huh. and wild buffalo. Yes, how cool is that? So, I am darn and determined to find some buffalo. It's a two-day trip that may end up taking us a week. <laughs> She's not leaving until she sees horses. That's right, that's right. No <laughs> buffalo. I want to see the buffalo. Okay. So, yeah, so we're going to do some biking and maybe some hiking and maybe we should have brought the binoculars. <laughs> do we own binoculars? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, come join us on our trip to Payne's Prairie. So, yeah. All right, we got to our campsite. We are at site 50. We are the last one in the campground <laughs> the last one in the loop but uh lots of shade here a lot more than i thought it would be for a prairie <laughs> and uh they said this site is hammock friendly but i'm not sure exactly why um little fire pit back there and uh i wanted to just kind of walk everybody through our camp setup again since we haven't done it in a while um so we have this ozark hammock or not hammock now I got hammock on my brain. Canopy. Canopy that is 13 by 13. And uh, that's been very nice. We've got our pod rockers, which we love. Our fire disc that we love. And in Florida, this is the most important is fans. Fans, we love fans. <laughs> it keeps the mosquitoes away and keeps us cool. That's right. You want to open the door for I the camper? So this is our camper Mo. It stands for Mini Oasis. And uh, we've got all of our bins here. And those bins right there have all of our clothes in it. The ones underneath store our shoes and, and like dry food. Dry food, yep. Yeah. And then uh, come back here and this is our sleeping quarters. Super comfy. Super comfy. Just big enough for Joel and I. We love our runaway camper, right? Yeah, it's exactly what we need. It's, it's light and portable, and it fits in the garage. And it has an air conditioning. Yeah, air conditioning. That's almost as important <laughs> as the outside fan. <laughs> I would say more. Important yeah, more right? Important. Just wanted to show how big the sites are. You can definitely get big rigs in here. All right, good morning. Hey, guys, good morning. So today is Saturday, and it is actually quite cool out it's this nice. morning. It's nice. It's beautiful. Humidity's lower. Yep. yep For us, that's, that's a big thing. <laughs> yes. So today, we are going to go biking. See our bikes back there? Yep. Yeah, bike, 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 bike. Nope. Thank you. Yeah. Right there. So, <laughs> but here's the problem. So the place we want to mountain bike, we thought we could actually ride our bikes to, but we can't. We actually have to drive there. And the bike rack doesn't fit on... <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have the tools to move the bike rack to the vehicle. Yes. So we're going to try to take the bikes and stuff them in the back of the Subaru <laughs> and drive to where we need a mountain bike. Yeah, which so, is only a few miles away and it's in the same park, but you just, you can't get there it's from... It's a busy road. Yeah. yeah. So, so it should be fun watching us take these mountain bikes and stick 10 pounds of mountain bikes on a 5 pound Subaru. <laughs> these bikes in the car and if it doesn't work then yeah. our long bike ride then we're gonna break the hammocks out and hammock all day. <laughs> oh man <laughs> all right you gotta do that let's do that oh. all right there's one 
You may not see us anymore. Right. <laughs> We're still here. Are you doing the opposite for the next one? I think so. I think so. Opposite. Maybe this way? No, that's what we did. No, we'll put the back end stuff first. No. Um, I think. Okay. Oh, Lord. Just be careful that spoke. my bell. Oh, wait, wait, what am I doing here? I don't know. Well, be you're, it's... Yeah, be careful that. that it's right here. <laughs> Are you in? I'm in, and then we'll just use some paracord or something and tie down on the back. Alright. Okay. Alright, I think it's going to work. You did it. It's not perfect by a long shot, but I think it might actually work. So... The problem is, these cool fancy bikes have hydraulic brakes and there's no quick release on the front wheel. So I have no idea how to take the front wheel off and get it back on. So it makes it a bit more difficult. But I think we'll be all right. All right, we're going for a bike ride. Let's do it. All right, <laughs> so we got the bikes in the Subaru. The hatch isn't all the way shut. We got it tight shut. So now it's telling us that the back is open. Subaru is not happy. And it's about a half hour to where we're going. So we may be crazy when we get there. Because this is going to drive me nuts. I can't figure out how to turn it off. Oh! <laughs> Did it just stop? It just you stopped. Good? I think so. Oh. It hasn't stopped. <laughs> it stopped, and it starts, and it stops, and it starts. Oh, oh, it just stopped. Wait a second. Like 10 seconds later, it's going to start again. Oh, uh, it's... So, I'm telling you. It's making a liar out of me. It's driving me crazy. <sighs> Thank you. I feel vindicated. Did I say I had a headache? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, we made it. We made it. Half an hour with a beeping. I still hear beeping <laughs> in my head. <laughs> so now, hopefully the next time when we go to do, put this in, we're yes. going to do it differently. Hopefully. hopefully. And we can get the back shut because that beeping oh. for 25 minutes. So, yeah. So we found the trailhead. It's actually um, La Chua Trail uh, parking lot. And then the bike trail is just a little bit down there. So I'm yeah. not sure if... Uh, do you, do you hear beeping? <laughs> I still hear beeping. Not sure we're in the right spot. Uh, but. <laughs> just, just, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Just make the beeping stop. We are off and at where? The goal is to do about 10 each, each way. way. So it's like 20 miles round trip. <laughs> yep. We'll see. We're back up. We got water. Yep. We got lunch. Lunch. Let's, Let's go. go. So, we said we we're gonna do 20 miles. There's freaking hills out here. So, it may be more like two miles. stopped for lunch we're uh, 12 miles into our bike ride so we decided that we're gonna shorten it just a little bit we decided to turn around at 8 um, we got some other stuff to do on this fine day 
<laughs> fine day. It is gorgeous out here. Yes. So yeah, so we turned around at eight. We're gonna have some lunch. We found this creek. Look yep. how pretty that is. That's yep, beautiful. Put our bikes right there. So break out some sandwiches. Yes. And uh, have some food, then finish our bike ride, and then go find some animals. <laughs> Some buffalo, <laughs> bison, bison, uh, same bite, thing, same bison, thing, and some horses. Yeah, I don't so, know. Yeah, we're going looking for them. <laughs> All right, we are going uphill, which you know, if you live up north, you're laughing right now, thinking that's not a hill. But if you live in Florida, for us, this is a hill. So Amy's dropping it into gear. Fortunately, we have mountain bikes that are really good gearing. Amy, you're like halfway on your rear sprocket. You get a long ways to go, you can drop it in a much easier gear. Spinning up this hill. <laughs> Look how fast your feet are going. No, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, this is officially a hill for us. But we're going up it, slowly. She's pulling away from me. She's so strong. <laughs> I just got the international I'm pooped sign from Amy. And we have a long way to go. So coming back or coming the other way, when we first started, this hill was a lot of fun to go down. And we knew going back it would not be fun. Especially just after eating lunch. So. We got both bikes in there. We can shut the door now. It was more exercise getting those bikes in the car than, than the 16 riding. mile bikes <laughs> oh bike ride. So they're in. Lesson learned. Bring the right tools. Right open. tools. Yeah. All right. We just got done with our 16 mile bike ride. We did. It was I'd, fantastic. And got our bikes in the thing. Oh, that was so much work. <laughs> but I told you we had other things to do today. Yes. So we are going down into the prairie, I think. It's on the Lachua Trail. And it starts from the same place that we parked for our bike ride. So lucky me gets to be wearing my padded shorts still. <laughs> so I look like I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> she is so subconscious about it. It's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> so hey. hopefully. Yeah. So this will take us to the prairie. There's two different places for the prairie. So this right. is the first one. This is one of them. And they say you may see... Amy's bison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll or see. horses. This is the bicycle crossing, so make sure we don't get hit. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know what the prairie looks like, so can't so, wait. Well, we'll find out. boardwalk but you're surrounded by like vegetation so you can't even see the water it's literally like a sea of hydrilla or whatever they call it really cool hi what's going on <laughs> i am very happy right now very content i'm in the shade i'm looking at like something i've never seen before right it's gorgeous this amazing view of prairie and the lake and Okay, so there's this big, huge gator right there. He's probably eight feet long, maybe. Look at, he's right there, hanging out, just doing his thing. So I'm gonna back up because I wanna stay alive to make more videos, but I'm like maybe 10 feet away from him and he's freaking huge. All right, that's good. All right we're at, unfortunately, the end, <laughs> the end of, the of road. this trail. Boo. So the water's too high just to observe wildlife at a safe distance. So yeah. I think 
we will turn around and slowly head back and go to the other observation point. There you go. But man, this is a prairie. This is about as far as the eye can yeah. see. Yeah, not a lot of shade out here. Nope. All right, we just got done with the boardwalk to the trail end. Yep. Now we have this nice grassy area. Unfortunately, no animals. Well, one animal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did see the alligator. Big old alligator. And Joel and I looked at each other both and said we named it Albert. Albert. Literally at the exact same time. Uh -huh. We both said we should call him uh -huh. Albert. So now we have our alligator, Albert. Albert. All right, I guess this is the only bison I'm going to see on this trip. <laughs> and he's probably half the size of what you are. Right. <laughs> so we're at like a uh, nature museum kind of uh, exhibit. There's like stalls in here from the... Yeah, this is like an old horse stall from years ago. And he turned it into an exhibit. So there's Amy's bison. <laughs> so happy for you, Amy. I know. <laughs> All right, we are in the car and guess what? What don't you hear? Beeping. Beeping. <laughs> we, got the, we, sh we literally shoved the mountain bikes. I know, look at car. that. I can't even move my head. Amy's my, head's on my head rest. forward. <laughs> But there's no beeping, so I'm Thank so happy. Thank goodness. Ugh. All right, we just got to Bolin Bluff Trail. And uh, I'm only one in the video because my husband forgot his mask in the car. And just in case we need it, we always have him with us. So we're going to go hike down here. I think this trail might be closed part of the way, too. But uh, they said it was nice and shady. And I'm still in my bicycle shorts. So anyway... See ya. All right, so there's a couple horses in a pen here, but then there's a couple that are not. Right. I don't so, know if you can see it. I think there's a few in jail. <laughs> and if you haven't been caught yet, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, here's literally this horse right in front of us that's just kind of hanging out, reading the sign, <laughs> familiarizing himself with the park. <laughs> He's... <laughs> I think it says all horses must be on leash. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other one. All right, yeah, so Again, there's two in the thing and, and one just roaming free. The two in the thing are like, what did I do? Stuck inside here. <laughs> we just left a big section of woods and we're heading out onto the prairie. And it's this trail that seems to go on forever. And it's super cool because it's just flat. And narrow and it just leads to the trail of nowhere. All right, so we've officially seen wild horses. If those other ones weren't as wild, right? And they are out on the prairie. It's on the prairie. Cool. It's just flat as far as the eye can see. That's right. I don't know what these uh, tall things are, but they're pretty cool. They're kind of orangey. Uh, we Orangey. Orangey on top, and it's just this narrow path. And we're like lemmings. We have no idea where we're going. We're just following the trail. <laughs> it could be a cliff at the end. We don't yeah. know. But it's pretty cool. He loves it. How could you not? He's free. He's so happy. Right? <laughs> I'm laughing because Joel's over there doing jumping jacks. <laughs> How are your jumping jacks? <laughs> he was getting in the horse's attention so he would look up for me. You guys have seen me doing jumping jacks. I, you know, if the horse, no, I didn't video because I was getting video of the horse, but that would have been a good video. <laughs> we were trying to get him to look up. I was doing jumping jacks. I was acting like a Waving idiot. Waving his arms up. <laughs> it 
It worked. Yes. All right, we'll leave him alone. Let him finish his dinner. So we can head back. All right, we're coming out of the trail, one part of the trail. And look what we have. Buddy. Love it. How are you? He's over here to the right too. Oh, they're both back up here. Uh -huh. Hi, Doug. Don't do the whole kicky kicky thing. We gots to pass you. This is the one that was following the <laughs> guy with the dog earlier. Yeah. You made a best friend with a beagle. Hi. Hey, bud. All right, what a great trail that was. What? Just, <laughs> just finished him up. Yeah. And uh, saw four wild horses. Did. Two from afar, two close, and then mm -hmm. one of the ones that was far came in closer. Right. So that was pretty cool. Cool. The boardwalk out the very end was neat. It was neat seeing the entire observation. Plane. Yeah. Yeah, observation. Fortunately, no bison. Darn it. I guess that cutout's going to be all I get to see today. <laughs> That's all right. That's Joel will have to take me back to Yellowstone, what? Grand Tetons to go see more buffalo. Nope. <laughs> Last time we were there, Amy jumped out of a moving car. Long story. Anyway, <laughs> we don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> All right, back so, to yeah. the campground. Good trail. Got about 20 miles in total between bike riding and hiking. Yeah, 15 bike. No, 16, 16 bike. 16 bike and about four hiking. And we're going to be about almost five hiking, I think. Yeah, so good day. Yeah. Back to the camper. Yep. All right, we decided to break out our hammocks, even though we only had a little bit before dinner. There's Joel back there sleeping. Actually, he's not sleeping, but we did bring the um, the fans over so they could keep the try to keep the bugs away from us. Are you sleeping? Definitely not. <laughs> did you hear him? He said definitely not. <laughs> not when I'm talking. So a little time to relax before dinner. Tonight we're having a hearty dinner of. You like uh, hearty? Hearty dinner. It's really not hearty. <laughs> But uh, we were tired after all that uh, biking and hiking, and we took a little, well, Joel did take a snoozer. Uh, if I look tired, it's because I just woke up <laughs> from the hammock. Yes, so we're going to make some chicken fried rice tonight. Yum! All right, good morning. Good morning, everybody. So we have already left the campground. We um, did. We got up and got out pretty quick this morning. So it rained during the night, and I think all the mosquitoes decided that under our awning was a place to be <laughs> because it was filled with mosquitoes. Oh my god, they just, and they love me, so <laughs> it was. Who doesn't? I, yeah, yeah, thanks. Right? Yeah, right. thanks. So, yeah, so we got out as quickly as possible and uh, forgot to do a video because otherwise all we would have been doing was swatting mosquitoes. <laughs> But uh, overall, it was a great trip. Yep. Um, definitely recommend Payne's Prairie when go back. Yeah, campsite was great. Really liked campsite. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I was going to go into a story, but... So, when we first looked at that, I thought Prairie, and I thought, you know, it's going to be not okay. very shaded, but right. the campground's really, really shaded. Yeah, it's very nice. And, uh, and then you still have the opportunity to go out on the, the prairie. So, yep. very, very good trip. And... Uh, we will see you on the next adventure. Uh, if you would please subscribe to our channel, we would appreciate it. And uh, have a glorious day.